Hello guys. Uh, this is my Indian family's farm. So this time we have the grown wheat. So I will show you how the people cut and who are the workers here. So guys, this is the tribal people. They are not local farmers here. The whole family is coming here with all their children to cut the wheat. And they can exchange of that. They will get their grains, their own grains, coming back home. So these are the children. And the parents as well are here cutting. So here, I will show you how these people cut. How the way they cut. They really work hard. And they really work so fast. So before uh, noon time, they will finish the whole area. Along here is already the cut one. Uh, they, cut, they cut like this because this straw, this kind of straw is a food for the buffaloes. It will be, they will, there is a machine to cut for it. Some can make it powder. And it will be kept the whole year as part of the buffaloes and cows food. So this tribal area, uh, the tribal people are coming every year for the wheat. So once a year they are here and staying on the farm. They don't have home. And they bring all their children together with them. They will cook here and they will sleep here also. And maybe one month they will be here until it will be in treasure. So later on I will show you how they will put in treasure. But for now we have to wait that this all will be dry. When the cat these birds are coming along also. Birds are coming to take the insects. They are not the birds who are um, picking the seeds of the wheat. So they are not uh, that they will not harm our harvest. So they will cut this area around just one hour. One hour to two hours, and then they will be re they will rest. They started to cut around six o'clock until ten because it's too hot already. So here are the children. So here, that's mostly, they're just one family. Hi. <laughs> Good thing with them is, even they're working hard, they smile. See? So there is no gender problem in harvesting. Here, they are equal. Male and female. So they will put it in one line like that. So it's easy. Put it high. <laughs> oh. This is their children eating while their parents are working. They are so well behaved. They don't disturb their parents. So just imagine they travel for a long time. Maybe five to six hours to travel here and work. And stay here for a long month. One month or two. Until they will finish the whole village. And they don't take money for, uh, for their work. They will bring their grains as their food. Yeah. 
Ayan. They're curious what I'm doing actually. Why I'm taking baby. Huh? It's getting hotter so some are already resting. Ayan guys, ayan na yung tractor na nire-ready na nila kasi ititreasure na yung wheat. So, pag dry, ito na siya. So, very dry na siya. So, it's ready na to put in the machine. Treasure mach machine. And then, makikita natin kung paano sila maghihiwalay. Okay? This guys, oh. See, this is Chetan, my brother-in-law. <laughs> So this is the workers and that's our tractor, family's tractor, katas ng Israel. So ayan, ilalatag na nila yung plastic. Sobrang init guys, pero they will work until evening. So, ito yung tractor. Tapos, yun yung tracer machine. So, tinatanggal ni siya. Pag... So, now they're starting to setting up the, the machine. So, ito yun ito na yung ilalagay nila sa machine. Grabe ang init. 40 degrees Celsius. Tapos, andi dito sila. Full day. Pag harvest kasi, nakakapili pa sila ng oras. It's like a morning or evening time that it's not yet so hot. But in treasure time, kasi dapat tuloy-tuloy siya sa trabaho lang. So, hindi sila makapamili ng oras. So, these guys, they're already uh, taking the wheat near the machine for easier work. So, ayan o, mga babae, women really work hard. Bigat niyan. Parang ang sakit sa leg. They used to work a lot. Hard working people. So, they are about to start. Neil? How much to pay for a uh, treasure? Huh? How much to pay like uh, the work of a treasure for those who don't have a uh, treasure? See, like this. Like this? Uh, like this bin, yeah. Yeah, bin. Mm. If it is 12, then 13 number will be our. Ah, okay. So, need 13. No, after 12, 13 number is Need 12. The 12, the 12 tin for the owners. And the last one, the thirteenth one is for the owner of the treasure. So that's the way they work. And how these people be paid off? Per acre. Per acre. Okay. Hundred so kg. Hundred kg per acre. So since they don't want money, uh, they are taking hundred kg per acre. So this is how much they will work and it will work so fast. It's just around 30 minutes. It will be done. So mostly farm is uh, managed by my brother-in-law. Siya yung cowboy na walang kabayo. So guys, this is my first time uh, getting closer with them. Uh, in harvesting uh, I have an allergy problem with this so 
to take video it takes time for me like a courage to come near so now it started so people are helping out to put the weed there up <laughs> so even it's hot they are really working hard they are trying to make it slow for us so
Hindi ko kinahiyam init sobra. Ayan. Still, women are collecting the wheat going to the near the tractor. And boys are continuing their work. And the children are over here. Baby is crying. Mother is working. So this is their life, guys. Sometimes it's heartbreaking to see a child crying and the, bo the whole family is working. So, but there is a big sister who is not really so big but taking good care. Around 10 children. Only 45 cans meat we got this time loss 40 cans loss <clears throat> This will be around 4,000 rupees. This trailer around 4,000 rupees.